Hey guys, it's AC, and uh, today we're going to be looking at the Corsair Voyager Go. Um, it is a USB drive, but it also has a micro USB on it as well. So um, it's good for three things. One, it's just your typical USB drive. Two, it can expand the storage of your Android device, your phone or tablet. And three, um, you can it'll help you move files from your mobile device to your PC without having uh, without needing a cable or anything like that so this is the 32 gig version it also is available in 16 and 64 so we're just gonna open it up and um, show you guys how to use it okay so after tearing up the package um, inside is actually this weird card that says warranty against defects notification for Australian consumers but I'm I'm not Australian so that's useless for me I guess there's nothing else inside so this is the USB drive itself um, they give you it comes with a black cover and a little thing so you can put it on your keychain with your keys they also give you the option of changing it to a yellow one just for customization I guess um, so yeah this is the entire drive uh, it's USB 3.0 so it'll work with USB 3.0 2.0 so the USB drive is on this side micro USB is on this side and it can close just like that on your key and uh, just so you guys have an idea of the size here is it next to my phone this is a Samsung Note 2 and here is it next to car key so that's yeah it's pretty small so looking at the drive itself it'll say Corsair Flash Voyager Go uh, on both sides and then just your Corsair.com and uh, your FCC stuff so this is how we would put files um, onto the onto the flash drive from um, from a phone also Corsair when they first announced this they had a compati compatibility list um, your phone has to be OTG compatible um, which is on the USB on the go. Um, I checked now, but the the site is that page isn't there anymore. Um, but from what I remember, they had like all the major Samsung phones, um, a lot of the a lot of the major phone manufacturers, um, some smaller uh, tablet ones too, like Acer. But I don't really remember for sure. Um, but they should have a list online somewhere hopefully but uh, so with the phone I'm just gonna connect it through the micro USB and it's a pretty snug fit and then right away my phone will recognize the USB drive and it'll be under US it'll be called USB uh, USB drive a so what I what I do is I'm in my file manager right now so if I want to move let's say an image I this happens a lot like at work where I'll need to take a quick image. Um, I'll just take a photo with my phone. Um, but so, a lot of times, it takes forever um, if I'm connected through a USB cable to search through all my images because I have like a thousand images on my phone. It takes forever to load them all. Um, so I'm going to, they are on my SD card, so I'm going to my photos. So I want to move this one. You can probably select multiple ones, but I'm just selecting that one. I'm going to move it to my USB A drive so I can just move it there. And I'm going to be moving it there. So this is the photo that I'm moving. Let's see if I can open it. This is the photo I'm opening. Um, I moved it to my Voyager Go. So now it's stored on my Voyager Go. So this is also convenient. Um, sometimes I record videos um, on my phone, and my phone is, uh, I think I have 16 internal, I think I have 16 or 32 micro SD installed, so I don't always need the room, but just in case I do, I can just plug this in and I have the instant space available. Um, and then I can either keep it in there or I can just move files from my phone onto it really quick to free up space for my phone. So now if I want to 
Now if I want to take that image um, that I just moved onto the USB to my computer, that's as simple as plugging it into my computer through the USB and uh, getting it from there. Alright, so I'm just going to plug the USB drive into my computer's USB 3.0 port. It is also a USB 2.0 port if that is all you have. should be this way. So I'll plug it in. You see it appears right away on my computer. And the file I wanted to move is right here. Uh, the image is right there. So, bam, it's now it's on my computer. So yeah, um, I also want to note the finish of the drive. The finish of the drive is a lot like the uh, finish of um, a lot of the cases that, that Corsair makes. So like I have the 650D and it is pretty similar uh, to the finish. So it's kind of a brushed aluminum finish. So guys, this has been a quick overview of the Corsair Voyager Go. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more gaming and tech videos, and thanks for watching.